You're going into the final stretch. Your game is just about done, and soon you'll be ready to seek fame and fortune in the Windows Store. I'm Chris Bowen, and this week we'll be wrapping things up with tips on being successful, getting your game ready to sell, and ways that you can make money. Let's start with something you may not have considered yet. Many successful games are created in partnership with a publisher. And you know that Xbox with Xbox Live is an amazing gaming platform, but did you know it's possible to work with Microsoft Studios to plug games into various Xbox Live features? Select games can work with Microsoft Studios, which can unlock the world of using avatars, achievements, leaderboards, multiplayer features, and more. Read these frequently asked questions, and if you'd like to learn more about what it takes to partner, send an email to windowsgames at microsoft.com. And what about using Xbox hardware, like the controller? It's definitely an option for your own game. Here's a sample that lets you use the Xbox controller to select line thickness and draw on the screen. It shows how to wrap the X input API from C++ in a Windows runtime component and call that from an app that uses JavaScript. Armed with options like this, think about how you can go beyond the basics in your own game. A good game is a tested game, so before you get ready to publish, be sure to fully test your game. If you don't, your users will, and they won't be happy if they find rough edges. There are a few good ways to start. First, you should test your game with different devices, screens, and resolutions. And there's guidance here on how to load your game onto other devices for testing. But what if you don't have other devices around? The simulator in Visual Studio 2012 can help. Choose Simulator in Visual Studio's toolbar, and once your game is running, click the Change Resolution button to try different displays. The rotate buttons above that can help you test other orientations as well. And by the way, don't just test the higher sizes and resolutions. Be sure to test the minimum resolution of 1024 by 768 as well. Next, take a look at the Windows App Certification Kit, or WAC. It's a tool that's installed with Visual Studio 2012 and runs your game through a battery of tests, including performance, security, configuration, and more. This is the same kit the certification team runs to test your app when you submit your game to the Windows Store. So run a release build of your game through WAC to find issues early and save yourself time. Throughout the process of developing your game, and especially as you get ready to test and publish, you need to be aware of what will make a successful app in the Windows Store. To help, I've written a blog post. The post covers programs, resources, and a list of 10 common issues that have been identified as Windows Store apps have been reviewed around the world. For example, like all Windows Store apps, your game needs to support snapped view. If it makes sense, your game can continue to run in the smaller view, but here's a tip. Games that won't support play in snapped view can simply show a pause screen and pause the game until the view is returned to the full screen. There's a very useful survey as well that will give you a checklist of things to consider before you publish your game. This, combined with the Windows 8 App Certification Requirements document, are a treasure trove of things to consider before publishing your app. Beyond the resources mentioned in the post, there's another good article that describes ways you can fix common issues. For example, games often fail to select an appropriate age rating based on the content or features of the game and the country or region where you're publishing it. This guide will help you supply this correctly and avoid failing certification. Taking the time to review the top 10 blog post survey, certification requirements, and the resources on this site will improve the odds you'll not only pass Windows Store certification, but that you'll have a game that leaves the others in the dust. The game is tested and ready to pass certification, so now it's time to publish. When you upload your game to the Windows Store, you can choose how you'd like to make money. You can publish a free game and add advertising to it, offer a paid game, a paid game with a trial mode, support in-game purchases, or even use your own commerce engine. So how do you choose between these options? Let's start with free games. Free games can be a great way to get started building your reputation and experience as a game developer. But free doesn't have to mean you can't make money. You can make money using whatever ad platform you prefer. The Microsoft Advertising SDK is built for Windows Store apps. Consider ads if you have a free game that people play for a long time, so you can show plenty of ads while they enjoy great gameplay. Paid games are simple. Charge from $1.49 and up and keep 70% of total sales, and 80% if your game reaches $25,000 in total sales. However, make sure your game's description and screenshots clearly show how awesome your game is. Otherwise, people may hesitate to buy. You should consider giving the user a way to test the waters by enabling trial mode functionality. Let the user play a few levels or for a limited time, and they'll be more likely to buy your game. 
We've seen with Windows Phone that a trial mode can make an app 70 times more downloaded, and on average 10 times more frequently purchased than a paid app without trial mode. An emerging trend in the gaming industry is the use of in-app purchases, unlocking new features or content right from inside the game. As an example, your basic game might be free, but you could charge for additional maps, scenarios, and items right from inside the game itself. Whatever choices you make, WinRT and the Windows Application Model Store Namespace offer classes to support all of these options. Once you're published, you can keep an eye on things with the Windows Store dashboard, where detailed reports can show you downloads, usage, revenue, ratings, and more. So you've made your game and are ready for the Windows Store. But what about the next game? Are you thinking, really, already? Well, a key to being a successful developer is always looking at what's next. Whatever technology you use to create your game, it's worth thinking about expanding your skills. Maybe it's time to try your hand at C++ and DirectX. Maybe HTML5 or XAML. In fact, your choice isn't just about these languages, but looking for other tools and frameworks as well, with more being available all the time. For example, XNA has been a popular choice for creating games for Windows, Xbox, and most recently Windows Phone. It's a .NET framework for game development that makes many things easier, like content, math, input, graphics, and much more. However, while XNA can be used for desktop games in Windows 8, it isn't an option for Windows Store games. But if you've been using XNA and already have code, how do you get to the Windows Store? Enter Monogame. Monogame is a cross-platform, open-source implementation of the Microsoft XNA 4 framework. It's created by a nonprofit organization that isn't linked with Microsoft or any subsidiaries, but it's for developers to bring games to multiple platforms, and this includes the Windows Store as well. If you're interested, there's a three-part blog series by Bob Familiar that introduces Monogame in detail. By taking time to expand your skills, you may discover other languages, tools, or frameworks will help you do exactly the things you'd like with less effort, and that's a key to being an effective developer. Congratulations, you're in the final stretch of launching your new game. Take the time to test your game, compare features with a list of things you'll need for Windows Store certification, and consider how you want to make money. Use the sites, resources, and tools I've mentioned, and you'll be racing across the finish line in no time. Also, remember to check the daily tips and the Windows Dev Center website for more information on making a great Windows Store game. Whether you're seeking fame, fortune, or both, have fun with your game, and I'll see you in the Windows Store.